everyone the video is going to start in a minute but i just wanted to give a quick warning this is like a vlog type video and there's a lot of like shaky cameras so if that's going to bother you uh maybe don't watch this one so much uh you can still listen to it if you want to know the content but um yeah let's let's switch over to me a couple minutes ago talking about what this video is about hey everyone today i'm going to be taking you on a day of my classes uh today is wednesday and i have four classes so um we're on our way to my second one right now. My first one was online, but I'm sure I'll show you how I go to that um, as we get into the day a little bit. So let's go. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that I'm an international student in my third year of management economics and finance. Uh, that might be important just so you know like what kind of classes I'm going to. Uh, so right now I'm walking from where I live on campus in Maritime Hall to my first class, which is in McKinnon. And I'm actually going to International Trade, which is a third year economics course. Right now I'm rock walking between Rosansky Hall and the Bullring, and just about now you're going to put, see me put on my mask and walk into McKinnon. Uh, I walk up a couple stairs and through many doors, uh, and then um, pretty soon I'll be arriving at my classroom. It's a pretty normal classroom setup, lots of desks. And here's my friend Lauren. I met her in my first year, and uh, she's in my class with me. She's helping me record for this section. <laughs> I take all of my notes on paper, so you can see me taking out my notebook. This is our professor, Patrick Martin. He's just setting up right now. He's setting up the document camera. That's the way that he likes to teach. He teaches from a PowerPoint, as you can see there. He's zooming into it right now. Hey, I'm back. Just to explain a little bit about what this class is, it's called International Trade, and it's taught by Patrick Martin. He's one of my favorite props in the world. I'm sure you can see him when he's setting up his camera and stuff, that like, he is such this, just the sweetest old man you'd ever see. And um, he's so funny, he teaches off of an iPad because he can't figure out a computer. Um, but basically that class is about how international trade affects domestic economies as well as the world economy and other things like that. It's one of my favorite classes this semester. Um, I didn't expect to be taking it, but I'm very glad that I ended up in that course. And I'm super lucky that I have a friend in that class. Um, I showed you Lauren earlier, but also on my other side was three boys that we've been doing assignments with. And in that class, we also have a group project. So I know a lot of people in that course and it makes it super easy if I ever have to miss a day. Um, I can just get the notes from them and it's no big deal. And now you can see, we're all done with the class. <laughs> so I'm packing up my stuff and I'll be heading out of the classroom pretty soon. Now after this class, Lauren and I sometimes go get lunch or we'll study in the library. Uh, but today Lauren had to go to work, so I'm just going to lunch by myself. There's lots of places that I usually go. Um, right now I'm in pretty much the middle of campus, so I could go to Curlman Hall, which is slightly on the northern side, or the University Center, which is slightly on the south side. Um, right now you might be confused, but I'm just walking out of a different exit of McKinnon Hall. In front of us is the library. Now we're walking down uh, the main walkway through the center of the university campus. On our left, you can see the cannon, and someone is camped out, going to paint it tonight. Over there on the right, this is Brandon Plaza, and a lot of times there's uh, food trucks there that we can eat at. And um, like I said today, I chose to go to the university center. Uh, also, sorry for this terrible footage. It's very annoying for me to watch it back and see like how low I was holding the camera. I'm showing you there's a Starbucks, and there's also a subway over to the left, um, but just know that in the future the camera does get better. I fixed some settings on my um, on my recording device so that it's not just like feet in the ground. <laughs> As we walk down the the ramp, you can see like a little overview of the university center cafeteria. Um, there's seating outside as well as indoors, and um, there's just like a ton of different outlets in the one area for you to get different types of food. There's a pita pit, a Thai place over there on the left um, that I'm going to show you right now. <laughs> Lots of delicious food. On our right, you can't really see it because I suck at camera, but there's a poutine place, there's a KFC, there's a pizza pizza. There's a grill over there to the right that you can't see, a Mongolian grill. The grill is more like um, fries and burgers. Over there, there's sushi. In front of us is a Tim Hortons, 
and then Nature's Best, which has a lot of vegetarian options. I'm showing you the salad bar, and then there's also a mom's kitchen over here that has, has some delicious food. Uh, then once you're done, after you check out with all your food, you can use your university meal plan to buy stuff at the UC. I usually come and eat outside. Um, it's a pretty nice day still, even though it did snow just a little bit ago. Um, so just enjoying the weather while I still can. As you can see, the skies are blue, lots of students are out and about. It's a great day to be outside. Today I wasn't really hungry, so I didn't grab any food. Um, but right now I'm just sitting out in a quiet place, waiting for my next class to start. I have my water over there. Um, stay hydrated, everyone. And uh, it's not too cold today, and I like to spend as much time outside as possible before it does start snowing. We had our first little snow yesterday um, on November 2nd, but it was just, it rained right afterwards, so it, it didn't stick. Um, but yeah, I like to enjoy my time outside. I like to find a quiet place. I'm right next to Day Hall. That's on the other side of me, my favorite building. I never go inside there, but I just really like the ar ar architecture. And behind me is the building that I keep having my classes in. I'm pretty sure it's called McKinnon Hall. Um, it's mostly used for the art students, but because I'm in a lot of business lectures this year, they all ended up being in McKinnon pretty much. So you'll notice that I spend like a lot of my time in that building. Um, but it's not that bad. I like the building. There's lots of different types of classrooms in that building. Um, I don't know. It's fine. So after I eat lunch, I go back into McKinnon Hall and I'll be heading into my environmental economics course, which is once again on that second floor. So I have to walk up all these stairs again um, and back to basically exactly where I was before I went to lunch. I really like McKinnon Hall because it has that inner courtyard. You just saw I showed off some of the trees in there. Super green, super nice. And then here's my classroom. Here's some of my friends in this class. I know them all from my first year because Alex there in the middle was my cluster leader. Uh, and now I'm getting out my notebook so I can start taking some notes, flipping to a random page because I couldn't figure it out. And he gave us a worksheet today to work on. So I'm pre-recording a little bit because I know what's gonna happen in my next class. Um, but you just saw I walked into environmental economics, which is my third class of the day. Um, and that professor does not allow us to have our phones or any laptops out during his class. Uh, for some reason, he just thinks it's distracting or we're going to do some like online shopping or watching videos, whatever. It's his choice, so we have to respect that. Um, hopefully, I was able to get a quick video before of the classroom so that you can see what it's like. That one, just like my second class of the day with international trade, has one screen. Um, like the projector screens but the next one you'll see will be going into a classroom with two screens and in environmental economics we mostly talk about the um, economic evaluation of um, environmental policy so when it makes sense for a government to enact policies or regulations or taxes things like that on um, different pollutants in the environment um, and looking at the short run versus the long run and how um, how much the government cares about the short run versus the long run can really impact that. So I think it's a pretty interesting class, but it is definitely my hardest course and I'm not doing so good. So um, <laughs> we'll wait until the end of the semester before I can give you a recommendation on that one. On to my next course. So as soon as environmental economics is done, I head on over to my last class of the day, my fourth and final class, <laughs> the strategy of mergers and acquisitions. Um, and right now I'm just walking out of the McKinnon building. Uh, this is the steps that I took in the beginning, and now I'm going outside. I usually like to walk outside down the final set of stairs instead of inside, because I can take off my mask and it's just uh, nice to be outside while I can. Here's a nice shot of Rosansky Hall. That's where a lot of first year students have their big lectures. And we just passed the bull ring on our right. Also on our right, um, just about now, is Bob's dogs. We love Bob. Um, he's got a hot dog stand, and I always get hot dogs from him before my midterms. So I'm heading into the building that I have my last class in, and it's a super easy trip. It's right here. Uh, now you can see the classroom. We've got whiteboards, but we also have projector screens that will be rolled down pretty soon. There's quite a few chairs in here, but almost all of my courses are only 70 students. I'm whipping out my notebook for the last time of the day and flipping to the right class so I can start my notes on a fresh page. And then here's our professor, Nancy. She's pulling down the screens. Um, she teaches with a microphone, which is really nice. Here I am again. I pre-recorded for like my whole day because I really love this location where I am for lunch. Um, 
but yeah, I was just in the strategy of mergers and acquisitions with Nancy. Um, Nancy's not my favorite, <laughs> but uh, she she's still a pretty good professor. I don't know, she's just more difficult, more strict than most of my other professors, so it's um, not my favorite course. But um, we're learning about why companies would merge, why companies want to acquire other companies, why there's policy that prevents um, that from happening sometimes. Um, yeah, it's a fine class, not my favorite, but it's required for my major, so I have to take it uh, in that course. Not sure if I got them, um, but my group members all sit next to me. We have a group project. I've got three group members, so if I miss a class for the day, which happens sometimes, uh, sometimes I get lazy. It's my last class of the day. Can you, can you give me some slack? Um, and they'll send me the notes if I miss, and I'll send them the notes if, I, if they miss. We work on a group project together. It's really nice to have groups. Um, you can make more friends that way. We're on our way to being friends. Uh, we'll figure it out soon. But the more group projects you're in, the more people you'll notice that you already know. Uh, and it's super easy to make connections that way when you're in group projects. So then when we're done with the class, I put away my notebook for the last time and I head out the building. Uh, it's, it's really nice to take off my mask finally after a full day of class. Not sure if you can tell, but uh, it's actually snowing again. I just got my done with my last class of the day so I'm heading to get some early dinner um, to bring back to my room. I usually grab dinner and in a to-go container so I can take it back and eat it in like two hours. Um, after I'm done with classes I usually start studying. I have a midterm to study for uh, tomorrow so I'll be pretty busy all night but after I grab some food I'll show you um, how I did my online class this morning because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> so like I said, I'm going to get some dinner and I'm going to go to Prairie Hall. There's a cafeteria in Prairie Hall and Mountain Hall. I live in Maritime, so neither of those, but uh, this is on my way home. So right now you can see me walking into Prairie and the calf is like literally right here as soon as you walk in the door. Here's a nice view of the calf. There's quite a few different stations. There's a Mongolian grill, a pita pit, another mom's kitchen. And it looks like I got my food and I'm on my way through Prairie Hall. I just passed the front desk. Um, and you can see me walking through Prairie Hall. Uh, right now we're in Grasslands and I'm on the street level, which is technically the third floor of the building. But um, it's this red pathway that goes all the way through Maritime, Prairie, and then Mountain. So now I'm going to walk you through how um, I do my online course. I'm just logging into our course link. Um, that's the software or the, the website, I guess, that we use. Um, and the course that I took this morning was consumer behavior. So I just like go from the home page and click on that course um, down here. And then there's like a ton of tabs that you can click into, but the one that I'm going into is the content tab. And then I go into calendar. And um, so this is like our full schedule of Zoom meetings. We have one, we have in-person class every Monday and then Zoom class every Wednesday. So today is November 3rd. So I just clicked on this link this morning and uh, joined the Zoom meeting. Our professor teaches off of a PowerPoint. I think I can show you that here. Um, and she also uploads like the pre-lecture PowerPoint before she's written on it, as well as the post-lecture after she's given us the information and stuff. So basically, she just um, runs through this PowerPoint. And um, yeah, that's how my class goes. There's sometimes some interaction, um, but usually it's just her teaching. Um, yeah. <laughs> and then when I'm done with Zoom class, I just like log out, and then I would go walk to my first class of the day. It is much later in the day now, as you can tell by the fact that it is dark outside. I spent like the whole night studying, um, but it's a good thing. You have to study when you're at university. <laughs> I hope this video was helpful to you in your university search, because let's be honest, that's why you're watching this video. Uh, if you liked what you saw today, there's lots more videos that you can check out on my channel. Uh, a couple room tours, some walks in the Arboretum, things that I love and I hate about Guelph, uh, <laughs> plenty of things. 
So give this video a like if you liked it, and comment if you have any questions. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and follow me on Instagram if you want to see what I do, like, normally, like, when I'm not making videos. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one.